Hey guys, Luke back with another video. This one's going to be all about the legendary equipment items you can get. There are about 15 of them in total. And by equipment, I mean just like the stuff you can wear as gear. And with that said, leave it a like if you like it. Subscribe for more guides to come. And also, if you haven't seen them already, I have Act 1, 2, and 3 all items and all equipment done already. So go check it out. And with that said, let's get started. If you want the Silver Sword of the Astral Plane, you can come to the top left of the map here in Act 1 by Joaquin's Rest. And up here will be the Githy Yankee people and that will also have Voss, the like leader this of the group. And you can use takes. Command Weapon Drop on him to have him drop his weapon. It's a legendary weapon, the Silver Sword of the Astral Plane, and it does have a super low chance of succeeding. So if you want to get it this early, you'll likely have to save Scum if you want a chance at getting it. And I'll go ahead and do that until it drops so I can show you. There we go. Looks like he dropped his silver sword of the astral plane. I'm going to go ahead and loot it with the Starion here. And here's the sword. And you will have to defeat the Githyanki around you to walk away alive with the sword. It is a tough fight, so be ready to do a tough fight. It is doable. I did it before, so have fun with that. And if you don't want to do it now, you can always get this sword later on in Act 2 and 3 by doing the weapon drop command. And at any point on a level 10 cleric, you can use Divine Intervention and use the Arm Thy Servant version. And that will give you the Devotee's Mace. Oh, it's over here. If you want the Blood of Lothander Legendary Mace, you'll head to the Mountain Pass area in Act 1, and then go over to the Rosy Morn Monastery. And I'm going to make my way to the second level up here. Inside of this room, there's going to be several pedestals we need to place a weapon on, and then that will unlock this, allowing us to loot this pouch. I've already looted it because it's a 30 DC lockpick, and I was able to pass it. But if you can't pass it, I'll show you the normal way. Go over here, lockpick this door, and enter this room. There will be a guy in here. It's not a hard fight, it's just something that counterattacks you if you melee it, so use ranged. You can get the battle axe right there. Go out, climb up the roots. Once you get to the top of here, there will be birds. You can persuade them to leave or let you have the hammer or kill them. And get the ceremonial war hammer there. And then you can make your way over this way and climb down these roots. And head down over here. There's going to be a room full of drunk kobolds. It's pretty easy. They only have like 8 health. And after you defeat them all, loot them, and one of them will have the mace. And now we can make our way back to the pedestal room. Now that we're back inside the room, we can go ahead and place our ceremonial weapons we picked up. Go ahead and put the battle axe right here. Go over here to this one, put the hammer, then go here and put the mace, and that will unlock the thing, and you can get the Dawn Master's Crest over here. And then we'll use the Dawn Master's Crest to unlock a pedestal that has the legendary weapon later. And then after you complete the puzzle, you can head over this way, and then make your way through here, and come down through here and pass this talking bust. And you'll be able to attack this, and then this will let you unlock the next area. We need to go talk to the Githyanki in the Githyanki crash area. Yeah. 
and you can find the entrance to that area over here right there at the store monastery basement and now that you're in the Githy Yankee area you'll need to progress through it up to the top part up here and once you're over here you'll need to make this statue face west and this one face east but to do this one first you'll need to hit it with a source of big damage to break it loose the statue starts to rotate but its rusty mechanism jams stuck now we go ahead and make it face west and then make this one east That will unlock this door. Might this door be hiding? And down inside here, there's just going to be a room with some crystals in it. And you'll have to hit the crystals to break away the barriers. I'll go ahead and do this fight real quick. Once inside here, you'll need to break these crystals to make these energy doors go away. this way. This one here. And now that that's dead, it should open this door. And if you have the Dawn Master's Crest that I showed you how to get earlier, you can stick it in here. And that will bring us the legendary weapon. Blood of Lothander. If you didn't have the Dawn Master's Crest, it'd be a trap and you just need to destroy the four crystal machines. To begin your quest to get the Saluna Spear of Night or Shar Spear of Evening, you'll head to the Grand Mausoleum Waypoint here in Act 2 on the top left side and then enter the Mausoleum Entrance, this here. Progress through the Mausoleum until you're in the Gauntlet of Shar area and then we'll pick up from there. The first trial inside of the Gauntlet of Shars, the Soft Step Trial. This one's pretty straightforward. You just need to lockpick your way through, sneak around and not get caught, and at the end you'll be able to loot an Umbral Gem somewhere over here. And I'm not going to go ahead and show you that because it's pretty straightforward. The bolt you recognize. Or you could do like I do and offer your blood. You recognize this as a tr And then already have your character over here waiting to grab it. That way you don't have to deal with all the enemies and stuff. The next trial is also pretty self-explanatory. It's called the self-same trial. And it's literally just a battle against a mirror of your party. So go ahead and fight yourself and grab the Umbral Gem. And next up we have the Faith Leap trial. This one's a little more difficult. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do this one. Another, Another trial. Just go ahead and walk on the middle. Just like this. Oh, it looks like they added platforms. The last time I came through here, it didn't have any. At the ready. Alright, and that's that orb. Now we can go over to the silent library. And to solve the Silent Library puzzle, you'll need to come to the Silent Library first, defeat all the enemies, and then come up to this bookshelf. I'm not sure if it's a specific bookshelf or just any random bookshelf in here, but you need the Teaching of Loss, the Night Singer. And these bookshelves are trapped, so be ready for that. Go ahead and unlock this portcullis. It is a 21 DC, so it's a little challenging.
traps. And you can go ahead and insert the book in here. And that will lower this door. A trap. Some that will allow us to get the Spear of Night, and we'll need this for the quest. And now that we have all three Umbral Gems, we can go ahead and slot them in down here in the Ancient Altar. Just rode the elevator down. That will give us access to this new area. Let's try this way. And now we can go ahead and head down into the Shadowfell. And now that you're down inside of here, in the Night Song's prison, you'll have to make a choice between saving her or killing her. If you kill her, you'll get the Shar Spear of the Evening. And if you save her, you'll get the Sword of the Night that later on turns into a legendary weapon called the Saluna Spear of the Night. So, make your choice, and I'll go ahead and show you the Shar Spear of the Evening. And you can see it here, Shar Spear of the Evening. And I figured I'd go ahead and throw up a little clip so you can see what the Saluna Spear of Night does. If you want the Nyrolna Legendary Trident, you'll head to Rivington and the Circus of the Last Days, and then head over here to where Akabi is, and you'll want to pickpocket him, take his Jenny Ring, and then speak to him. You'll need to pass a perception check on his wheel spin. And then he'll realize you stole from him and then just say you even the odds, and he'll teleport you. And now that you're in this place, make your way all the way down to this portal. In this chest right here, you'll find the legendary weapon, and I'll go ahead and teleport over there. And now that I'm over to the painted chest, I'm going to go ahead and lockpick it. It's a 20 DC. Whoops. And there's the legendary trident, Nirona. Now I'm going to show you how to get down into the Worms Rock Lower Prison so we can get Baldurin's Giant Slayer and Helm of Baldurin. And to get those two items, you'll come to Worms Rock Fortress up here where Gortash is. You can go right next to the waypoint and head down into this passageway. Come over to this corner. There's going to be two torches. We can go ahead and turn them off and then you'll hit them both with a source of lightning damage. I'll just use lightning arrows. And then you can turn them on and they'll be blue now, since you use lightning on them. And that will let us get inside of here. And now we can make our way down in and talk to the big undead dragon. For those of you that need help with the puzzle solution for the chess thing, if you have a board that looks like mine, you can win it by moving your queen here, taking this pawn, their king will move here, and then you can use your queen and take the pawn, and that's the solution. Or, this thing actually can be killed in two turns using lightning damage. If you don't want to do chess, you can just blow it up with lightning. Let's see what this does. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the solution. There it is. 
And if you want the answer for the Chamber of Insight, the correct choice is Suelto here. And for the Chamber of Justice, if you want to know how to solve it, you'll need to find a way to remove this debuff from him. I just use Remove Curse. I think you can use like Turn Undead and Banishment and Polymorph and all those other ones too. Anything that just takes the debuff off. And then you'll take the Cell Painting, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Pick up. And then just place it over here. And after solving the trials and killing Answer, you can loot him and get the Baldurin Giant Slayer right here. And then if you want the Helm of Baldurin, it's just sitting right over here. If you want the Duelist Prerogative Legendary Rapier, you'll head to the uh, Basilisk Gate Barracks here when you first enter the lower city of Act 3. And there will be a person here named Laura inside of this little building. Go ahead and take the quest to save Vanra, and I'll meet you in the next part. Next up, we're going to stop here at this house right here, next to Phil Graves Mansion in Heapside Strand in the lower city. And we're going to lockpick this door right here. With the right character. Once you come inside this building, there's going to be some of these people. They're being hunted by the hag Ethel. You can take the quest to help them, but that's not really what we're here for. my words, Helm, protector of all, grant me the power to ignite this. You can go ahead and help them deal with that doll. You can fix the doll by do using D curse on it. But go ahead and loot the safe. I'm gonna use darkness. The safe has a book called A Hunter's Guide to That, and also the Tear Stained Journal. And this one of these is gonna give us a recipe. The Hag's Bane, and we can go ahead and make it after we leave. I think it's under grenades, yep. Now that we have the Hag's Bane made, we're going to head over to the Blushing Mermaid over here and do the Investigate the Blushing Mermaid. And now that we're at the Blushing Mermaid, we can head up to the second floor. Blushing Mermaid's over here. And talk to Captain Grizzly. Captain Grizzly. And when we try to keep Basically say everything she doesn't want to hear. I hate and then say absolutely this. not. I refuse to do your dirty work. Hello, Go ahead and attack her. So, and go ahead and fight all these red caps and kill them. And then enter the cellar right here. Once down in the basement, you'll need to pass a perception check right here. Something over there. And it reveals itself as an illusionary wall, and you go ahead down. Need somebody to lockpick this. For some reason, Asterion didn't come. I'll be challenged. Once inside of here, you can fight stuff over here, but I'm not going to fight anything. I'm just going to go over here and lockpick this door. Be careful. There are traps about. It's a 20 DC, so it's a little tough. I'm not too bad this late in the game, though. Once in here, Ethel won't be here. 
but she will appear if you kill one of these mushrooms. So I'm going to do that. Oh, she appeared. Last time I was here, she didn't appear, so I had to kill a mushroom. So if she doesn't appear for you, kill a mushroom. And now we can go ahead and figure out which one is the real Ethel. And then we're going to throw our Hag's Bane. This right here on her. And she'll spit out Vanra. And that's how we'll get the Duel's prerogative. And now that i found the real one, I'm going to go ahead and toss it at her. What did you... Release Vanra. And Vanra's is now out, and that is the quest complete. I'm going to return to Laura at her house, and she'll give us the quest rewards, which has the legendary rapier. And now that we're back in the city after saving Vanra, we can turn in the quest right here next to the lower century central city wall waypoint. Go ahead and talk to Laura. You brought her back. And she will give you the duelist prerogative. When you're older, you're a priest. For some reason it cuts off half the information whenever I inspect it. How about we bake something? You love bacon. If you want the legendary staff, Marco Hesker, you'll head to Sorcerer's Sundries here near the lower city central wall. And then go to the second level, click the portal. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this dialogue. <laughs> You'll have more. Tell me. And this? The night saw of course not dead. And now you'll need a source of sea invisibility, and then head down to the northwest side. You can travel down this, I'm just gonna fly down. And you can see the below right here. I'll go ahead and click it. Stay vigilant. There are traps here. These levers will need to be passed, and it's going to be a 20 DC check. So I'm going to go ahead and save, because I don't know if I'll be able to pass that with any of my characters. Should be able to. We got some decent pluses. Yep, there's one of them. That'll get you a staff, and this one get you an armor set I might not be able to pass it and I did so I'll go ahead and show you the armor too while I'm here might as well there's the legendary right here Marco Hesker and if you want to see the armor the robe of the weave. And now I'm going to get the gloves of soul catching and the hell dusk armor. And to get these two pieces, you'll head up to the devil's fee above the lower city central wall right here. Persuade Helsick here to give you access to the house of hope. And that's how you get there. And if you want the puzzle solution for the ritual upstairs, the incense goes here. The diamond goes here. If I can click it, the marble goes here. And the coin of mammon goes here. And then finally, the skull. Wherever it is. Goes right here. Or here. But there is no reason to provoke it. First up in the House of Hope, you need to go to the top part up here and speak to Harlep, the demon, and kill him or fight him. Why are you here? Raphael? You and once he's dead, you can loot him for the key to his safe and the Helldust gloves. This is trapped, but I'm just going to hit it anyway. 
go ahead and open the safe and take the notes and then read them. This will tell you how to get into the thing that's holding the Orphic Hammer over here. Let's go ahead over. And now that we have the pass raised to let the Orphic Hammer out of its bubble, let's go ahead and do that. I see the Orphic Hammer. Has you know the words. Before you can reach out, nothing happens. The might be ready. Go ahead and take it. That'll make Raphael come. But before we go fight Raphael, we gotta release Hope from her prison so we can get the gloves. So let's go do that. You can find her hatch over here. Right there. Now that I'm down in Hope's prison, I'm gonna kill the beholders guarding the thingies right here. The crystals that I need to break with the Orphic Hammer to release Hope. And then if we release her, that's how you get the gloves. So make sure you do that. And I'll go ahead and clear that out, release Hope, and then head to the portal room and fight Raphael. And now that we are back outside with Hope, we can go down to the bottom and try to leave. But when we try to leave, Raphael is going to attack and then we can kill him and get the two items we're looking for. And once you defeat Raphael, you'll get the Gloves of Soul Catching if you saved Hope. Also, on Raphael, you'll get the Hell Dusk armor. And next, we have the legendary bow, Gaunter Mail. And if you want to get that one, you'll head to the Grey Harbor docks over here on the left side of Lower City. And this is also how you disable the Steel Watch to fight Gortash. I'm going to go ahead and lockpick this. And then we're going to make our way up into the foundry. Are impressive achievements. You don't have permission to be here. And I'm going to go ahead and attack and then see you on the other side. And now that you're inside of the Steel Watch foundry and you assisted the Gandians, you can come back to the back side, back here. And we're going to go down into here. And there's a fight in here. I'm going to go ahead and do the fight and then kill the boss as well and then show you the bow off the boss. And then once you defeat the Steel Watcher Titan, you can go loot it. And grab yourself the Gaunter Mail. If you want Viconia's Walking Fortress, you can head to the top left at the House of Grief here in Lower City. Near the Baldur's Gate Waypoint. And then you'll speak to the lady sitting in the chair. You seek help. You She'll let you in the room. As I said, the house of grief. And I'm going to go ahead and use guidance on myself so I can pass an investigation check. If you don't pass the investigation check to find the button, you won't be able to get in. So make sure you do. Well, now. And then it go into the exposed secret stairway. Let's be quick. And now you can come down in here and fight Viconia. And she will drop the shield and make sure you kill her and don't let her go. Because if you let her go, you won't get the shield. And then once Viconia is defeated, you can talk to her. Kill her or turn her and make sure you kill her or you will not get the shield. I, draw near. I don't understand. It's, gone. it's on her body, right here. If you want Crimson Mischief or Bloodthirst, you'll need to first progress investigate the murders until the point where you can confront Orin and fight Orin. I'm not going to go over it in this video, the whole quest, because as you can see it's really long and it would take a while. And that's out of the scope of this video. So 
progress investigate the murders and then go fight Orin and then I'll go ahead and show you the loot off of killing Orin down there in the sewers. Then once you kill Orin you can get the Netherstone Pommeled Bloodthirst. And also the Crimson Mischief Legendary Short Sword. And an altar key. And that brings me to the end of the video. If you liked it, leave it a like. Consider subscribing for more guides to come. And also, if you haven't checked it out already, I did every single item in the game, or at least 99% of them. And I have all three acts done already on my channel, so go check them out.